Hey guys, this is another Corona update. Um, so, it's been a little hectic and I remember the last time I was a little overwhelmed because there were no cars. Now there were more cars, but I was even more overwhelmed because uh, unlike last time, actual safety measures have taken place and it it was really weird because uh, I went shopping because one I had no hermit at home because of Passover um, and uh, so I really needed to get flour I needed to get uh, pasta I needed to get some stuff and I usually I go shopping every two week for two, two weeks for supplies. So yeah, and it was really uh, mind blowing because they are saying that the we may get out of the lockout earlier than expected, uh, like by. May 3rd or something but compared to when we were on a harder lockdown there are actually more safety measures taking place uh, I went shopping uh, the supermarket the uh, had a queue outside like you had to be around two meters apart or something and uh, only a few people can get in the store and it was really overwhelming still they don't they still allow everyone to access the produce they're not taking temperature or something uh, but for instance usually when you pay the cashier they didn't have, you know, they now put a big acrylic protection there. Uh, it's really, really overwhelming to look at all this. It's, uh, it's like there are more people outside, but there's also more, uh, you know, doomsday measures being taken, if you will. Um, which is really upsetting that my dad, he knows what's going on, but he's not taking precautions. He still has his friends over. He's still, you know, doing stuff that he can get arrested for because he shouldn't be, you know, doing gatherings with his friends. And he's going to Lisbon to see his girlfriend, uh, which he shouldn't because it's the epicenter. So... While everyone in my family is taking it seriously, my brother has one of the essential jobs. He drives a taxi, so he is not uh, isolating at home because he is considered an essential job. But he's really upset at my dad because my dad doesn't he, he listen to us. And I'm isolating my brother is still working because he has an essential job but my dad we have money my dad is rich well not rich but he has a company um no well, i don't have money i'm not well off but my dad is well off um and uh he has a lavish lifestyle and i don't understand why he's doing what he does it's not like he needs the money and he has a good retirement for 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 you know a back injury so he doesn't even need to work so i really don't understand i know he likes to drink and be around his friends that's mostly why he has that uh, dagger thing he has going on, but it's rather upsetting. Um, so, um, as you all know, I used to do some homesteading until they destroyed everything I was planting. 
Now I'm trying to do it again, and I have to order everything back on again because I tested my seeds, and most of them, of the old ones, are not germinating, so I need to order everything. So I, um, I'm ordering stuff online, and it's really expensive. Uh, but the store, uh, the uh, stores are closed, so um, I really have no, not much choice. Uh, I am also ordering a de dehydrator to preserve things because, uh, yeah, and uh, a tiny mic. I don't know; it won't be very good, but I know the sound in this computer. Is messed up and I want to improve the quality of my videos which I would do if I could find a new memory card for my camera but um, uh, those are hard to find because it's uh, uh, an old Sony and uh, memory cards for Sony uh, cameras are not common here and I don't have money. I'm poor. Um, and uh, so yeah. Um, it's hard to get a job and uh, I I had I had one but uh, because of coronavirus uh, they said well you apply to this job but uh, we are letting you know that if we need your services after the crisis, we'll call you. Let's see how long it takes. Um, and I wanted to save money for my conversion. Uh, well, I have some from uh, my fundraising, but it's not enough for my conversion. And I don't want to touch it until I know that I can pay all the conversion process so yeah that's most of the update i was really freaked out when i saw everyone you know trying to enter the the supermarket inside it was rather normal um if you exclude uh a lot of things missing, like no alcohol. Now they had alcohol gen gel again, but it's more expensive than it used to be. Uh, bleach is also uh, pretty much gone. There's a lot of stuff that is not on. I was uh, lucky enough. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for quite a long time and I've wanted to get it for years but I couldn't uh, justify uh, the expense. Of course I wanted one that is more expensive than this one, uh, more reliable because I was exercising and all of that um, and you know you should monitor your heart rate and oxygen levels and some exercise plans actually um, call for some art rates and stuff like that so this is really useful but the, the reason I got this and my mom still thought that I was spending my money uh, well not in a good way but I think it's essential because this is a silent virus but one thing you can do is monitor your oxygen levels and it's really good, for instance, I have uh, bronchitis, asthmatic bronchitis. I don't exactly know what you call it in English. And my mom has some heart problems, so it's really good to monitor. We have a blood pressure machine, but uh, it, it needs those big batteries, and uh, I don't have those. So we can't really use that one but we can monitor the oxygen so what you do is you turn this thing on and then press again am i doing this right okay it's not detecting okay i think it detected something 
It's not showing the values. Starting to beep though. Starting to beep, but it's not showing the, okay. So this is my heart rate. I don't know if you can see it. It's glaring. Well, I can't help much. But my high heart rate is at 80 per minute, 85, 90 per minute, and my blood oxygen level is 98. So it's a good thing to monitor. And then you take the finger off and it should turn off a few seconds later. Um, still did. Come on, it's not turned off yet. Um, either way, this is... Okay, just turned off. So this is a good way to monitor your oxygen levels. I actually tend to have bronchitis, uh, bronchopneumonia. So this is actually a good thing uh, for me, even without coronavirus, and I can monitor my mom. And uh, if my dad wasn't so stuck up, I could monitor him uh, when I go to his place. But yeah, it's a uh, cool device. I bought it for 30 euros. Uh, it doesn't have the same features as the one I wanted it has. But beggars can be choosers, and uh, it's useful. And uh, at least now, if we start feeling see sick, I can know the normal heart rate, and we can see this before it's coming to us. Uh, and yeah, sorry, I have my kitty here because she's a bit scared because cats are fighting outside. Or, uh, you know, making babies because uh, that's what they do when they want a new girlfriend. And she's freaking out a little. Hang on. Here, Dina says hi. Dina says hi. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I got milk. I got uh, Gallia Melon. I got got quite a lot of stuff I'm stocked up for the next two weeks um so yeah I also got because I knew my dad brings me late uh two salads pre-made uh and I'm quite surprised they're quite good uh now they're not kosher they're not kosher uh, but, uh, uh, I took out the chicken and gave to Athena, uh, and, uh, just kept the cheese and the rest, uh, of the first one, and, uh, um, so it's quite good, it's rather expensive normally, but because, uh, it was nearing the expiring date, it was half the price, so... I got it on sale. It's still fresh and uh, I'm quite su surprised because it has a tray. Hang on. Just opened it. And uh, it has a tray with croutons on it, uh, Parmesan cheese, and chicken. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the chicken out, give to a tenner. And I add the parmesan because I don't mix cheese with chicken. And I used to keep 100% uh, kosher. I avoided uh, non-kosher cheeses, stuff like that. I avoided chicken even though Habad said that it's okay to eat chicken in Portugal. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's kosher slaughter of chicken in Portugal anyway, so... I used to avoid it when I was living on my own, but now that I'm living 
and I don't do my own chop. Well, I do my own chopping, but I am dependent on family to doing to do, to go do my own chopping. Uh, so I am not as strictly kosher as I was. Um, so I will eat chicken, and uh, I also eat uh, cheeses that I didn't eat because I was not I didn't know if they were kosher or not. Because the thing with cheese is, um, some cheese is made by using plants to uh, curdle, curdle, curdle the milk, and others use a gut bacteria from cows to curdle it. So, I don't know about Parmesan. I love Parmesan, but I didn't know, so I stopped eating it for a while. Um, so yeah, that, then the next thing, and this is the, the most amazing, the, the thing I like the most about it is that if I go back to work, as soon as I go back to work, I may actually buy these kinds of salads, uh, because I usually like to make my own salad, but if I go to work, this is great because it has a napkin and tell me, usually when I buy stuff to eat, um, the thing that's missing is always napkins. They put forks, they put whatever, but napkins are always missing. And this is just a salad, and it includes a napkin. So I'm really happy about it. Not that I need here at home, but it's it's glad to know that you have a napkin. You have something to clean yourself up with. Uh, then there's a fork, a plastic fork, which is a rare thing these days, because now they're putting one of those wooden things that really um, folds and all that so they, they really get damaged easily and they're they have a rough texture rough texture and then there's the sauce uh, and uh, then there's the lettuce uh, I don't think it's le lettuce actually it tastes a lot like uh, something we call Indivious. What's indivious in English? Oh well, doesn't matter. It's 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 good. But unlike yesterday that I didn't chop it off because it was Shabbat, um, and I just put the sauce and ate it. I'm going to chop off a little more, and I have some great veggies here uh, that I bought. I bought some. Actually, they're not veggies. We call them veggies, but they're fruit. I got some bell peppers that I've been wanting to buy for months, years, actually. They are organic uh, bell peppers. They look so great. And I never buy them because they're really expensive. And I can never justify buying something just because they're organic. Um, I usually buy other peppers that are good, but I already have the seeds for those peppers. So I got these, not only to eat, but to harvest the seeds. So I'll be cutting up one of those. And I brought a container with water so that I can wash them here and not having to go to the kitchen here. Because I still need to pack up my, uh, the things, the only thing that I, uh, put away yesterday was the thing that needed, the things that needed to go to the fridge. Um, but yeah, I have, I don't have to keep Shabbat, but I try to keep as much as I can because I try to only break it once. Uh, and some rabbis actually say that because I I am the son of Bnei Anusim, that I should keep Shabbat. Others are not in agreement with that, but I'm following uh, the advice from the rabbi of the Midrasha I am hoping to go to. So I am going to pick some of these tomatoes. Uh... These tomatoes are great. They actually come in, uh, you know, these um, stems. 
they're the best tomatoes there that exist so even though this salad doesn't have tomatoes i'm going to add them and a couple uh a couple uh slices of the bell pepper then i'm going to put the bell pepper in a plastic container to preserve the rest and use it for other salads um so that's it i it's really not a good uh time uh i'll give you that i'll i don't know there are so many crazy conspiracy theorists on youtube like, it's one thing to say the reality that China created a virus, a bioweapon, and that they accidentally let it leak. Like, some people do believe it was leaked on purpose. Um, I don't think it's on purpose that it was leaked. But I believe that they withheld the information about it on purpose. And I actually watch a YouTube channel, China in Focus, that is really great. They leak a lot of information about, you know, whistleblowers, people that are disappearing, number of corpses mounting up, people dying in the streets, a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff. And the thing is that uh, the Western media isn't reporting on a lot of it. However, I want to call out all the idiots that are saying that coronavirus isn't real, that we're, go we're not going for a pandemic, that it's not dangerous. Whatever you're saying, you're killing people and you should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Because, of course, you're going to look up for any videos criticizing the conspiracy theorists. And, uh, okay, some degree of skepticism is good. But endangering people? That's not good. You're lying to people because it gets you views. Yes, sometimes you should criticize the establishment and whatever. But what you're actually doing is you're actually undermining people who are fighting against the virus. Uh, how hard it is it to cautiously stay at home, uh, even if you're not sure about the virus, better safe than sorry. And uh, because of people like you defying the authorities, the containment measures are going to be more draconian. And because of people like you, people like me, can't have a, a stroll out or something like that. Thank God I live in the countryside and I can have more breathing space. But can you imagine someone stuck in an apartment for so long? Like, staying at home recommendations are something that is possible because people actually follow the advice. But if people stop breaking curfews and going out when they shouldn't, the authorities are going to take up more power and no one will be able to go out. We don't want this to turn into communist China. And I think that's a thing that people don't get. Uh, so staying at home actually keeps you safe and will keep your rights. Right now we are fighting for our rights and uh, fighting for your rights is not giving any excuses to your government to take on more draconian measures. If they recommend stay at home, stay at home on your own volition. Because if you don't stay on your own volition, they will change the law to make sure you stay at home. And when someone gets power, it's hard to give it back. So, I don't know. Uh, it's really messed up that you have these people 
And the thing is, even if there wasn't a risk of uh, transmission of the virus, which there is, I mean, what? <sighs> Some people are just crazy. They suspect that the virus is an hoax. Tell me, we live in a mostly capitalist society. What president, what prime minister, what company would turn down profit if this virus wasn't real? Tell me, how, like, you have multi-million dollar companies losing revenue every single day because of this lockdown. Companies whose employees are not working and they're not producing because of the lockdown. This is bad for business. Why would they keep us at home for nothing? You know, unless there's a war brewing up. And yes, there's definitely something brewing up. But, um, I don't know. This is really messed up. I see some YouTubers uh, pretending it's not real. And it's not good. Because some people may see it and believe it. And endanger themselves. Not only the, themselves, but their family, their grandmother, their aunt. You know, it's it's not good. Let's not flood the, the, the hospitals with this in this crisis, it's it's just not something that we should do. Oh, this is much better. I'm cutting up the pieces because these are quite quite large chunks, and I hate to eat leaves for the, because I hate the texture of leaves. And yesterday I didn't finish my salad, so now with this one, I'm I'm actually I think I'm going to cut up the the other one and add it here. Um. Because uh, I hate to eat leaves. I hate the texture. So I cut it really finely. Like uh, in the texture of culvert, like this. You see? Like little tiny strands of uh, lettuce. I shred it completely. Because otherwise I can't eat leaves. Um, so, yeah. I like the the taste of the lettuce. I don't like the texture. I'm really weird with textures of some foods. So, yeah, it's really... I don't know. And I'm sad because my conversion is even more delayed. Not only for financial reasons. If I remember, I'll put my fundraising link below. Even though I don't think at this moment anyone can help me out, but still, uh, I haven't spent a dime from that money, uh, and uh, I will never spend any money from that for any other thing that isn't my conversion. And if I can, I'll pay back to people. There's someone who's been very generous with their donations, so um, I was, uh, I'm really, it's like not a lot of money, but a lot of money for a single person, I don't know. To me, it's a lot of money. Um, I think it, there's $300 or something there, so I'm really grateful. Uh, to whoever has been helping me out in that fundraiser. Um, so yeah, uh, another news, I am um, trying to go back to cultivate the land. The problem is it's been raising, there's been stormy storms, and uh, I need to basically do the what you would hire a tractor to do but since I don't have money to hire a tractor to uh, you know take the weed out and 
uh, how do you say, you know how you make the, the land, you know, ready to be sewn on, really soft, and, uh, the, all broken off, you know, um, I have to do it myself, and it's not easy. Uh, I have fewer tools than we used to have. Some people stole some of our tools. Uh, and so I have to do it all on my own because my mama doesn't have health to do it. And uh, it's going to be on a massive scale like my grandparents used to do. No longer for fun, but for sustenance. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to cultivate things I've never cultivated before. Sorry, it's a tenna. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's a little complicated, but I think I'll manage. In the past, I was able to cultivate the land easily because... We would get a tractor to uh, deal with the land, and it's quite a, a big lot of land, so uh, I don't know how much I can done before, uh, you know, I was supposed to have sown quite a, quite a lot of things by now, and I haven't because it's been raining. And uh, the tractor destroyed the path, and uh, now I'll have to fix it too. I already uh, took out the weed from the path, but, you know, my grandparents and great-grandparents used bricks and rocks to create it. But since the tractor, uh, the last time, uh, wasn't hired by us, it was hired by our, our neighbors because they were afraid of uh, wildfires and so we didn't have money to um, um, to, uh, you know, to destroy the, the grown herbs, uh, the weed and uh, so they hired someone to cut it for, uh, to not endanger their houses. And so that it wasn't the same person we usually hired and they weren't aware of the paths and they destroyed them. So now we have to fix them. But I don't think I will fix them before I sew, I so so things because I need to get the land ready first and then fix the paths. The paths are just a nice thing to have. Uh, so when you go take care of the land, you have a nice path. But I'd rather have land ready to cultivate than a nice path to walk on. I can work on that later. Sorry, I'm digging out my lettuce that is not cut up yet to uh, cut up. So yeah, I'm doing quite a nice job here. Uh, hang on, I'm going to show you. Well, I still have a few pieces to go through and this is the result. Sleep thinly chopped. I don't know if I'm adding some onion. I usually like onion in my salad. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, things are a little hard nowadays. And, uh, uh I don't know. I hope y'all have been dealing with things that quickly. And you know what? Even if you live in the city, you can just, uh, buy some seeds and if you can't buy some seeds you know you have tomatoes you eat the tomatoes you save some seeds you take a a, a a flower pot and you can have it in your apartment they do well in apartments close to a window in switzerland we had a few to tomatoes at home 
uh, who was actually in school, uh, the, the teacher, my brother's teacher, uh, made a project with them. We made one with beans, but my brother's teacher, when it came his time, they made it with tomatoes. And he brought a tomato home. <laughs> and so that plant, we kept it. And so my mom started having tomatoes at home. It was really nice. Before that, she only had flowers, I think. Yeah, it was really nice. So I'm really glad <laughs> the world is waking up to uh, the fact that China is guilty of things. Um, people here are still stupid about it. Defending the commies are really... Oh, they... You wish you lived in such a good society. Blah, blah. Welfare. Blah, blah. And I just said, you know what? I'd rather live and starve than be killed for my ideas. It's like... China has slave work. Look at what they're doing to the Uyghurs. The poor Uyghurs are in concentration camps. They are harvesting their uh, organs. And uh, I don't know who, how people can condone, condone, condone China's actions. And like, they're blaming Donald Trump for the coronavirus. Seriously? Donald Trump has been one of the most fearless fighters against coronavirus he really I don't know and the World Health Organization's actions are simply oh I don't know covering up for China is a bad move a really bad move and you cannot say that it wasn't malicious intent when China was smuggling protective gear from other countries for months and months. Uh, I don't know, it feels a little like warfare, like they wanted people not to be prepared for it. And that's the reality, we haven't had masks for months and months, we haven't had masks. Uh, and most protective things disappeared for months on hand. I still have a Hello Kitty mask from the 2009 uh, outbreak uh, when I was in Japan. Um, it was the bird flu, I think, or the swine flu, one of those. Uh, and so it wasn't very protective, but back then, uh, masks were really raring too. So I got a Hello Kitty one. Uh, it was a set of several masks, and I kept one as a souvenir. I need to find it. It's not a good one. I had a good one that came in a Japanese... Uh, what was it called? It was kind of a Gatorade thing. Um, Powerade thing. It was not a Powerade. It was something similar to it. I don't remember the brand. Um, it wasn't one of the typical the typical ones that I got. Um, it wasn't Bacari sweat. It was something else. I don't know which. It doesn't matter. But I I had a couple masks. But a good tip that I have for uh, ladies and married men. Um, and I need, I also need to find that bra if I haven't destroyed it because, you know, I have quite a fairly large breasts and so padded bras look stupid on me. 
but if you have a padded bra, you can take that foam and uh, some fabric and you can actually make a nice mask and uh, use the padding as a filter. Depending on the cup size, you may have to cut the foam uh, pad uh, to adjust to your face, but it's a good option. If you have a foam bra, a, foam, a padded bra, you can use the padding to, to make masks. It's not a N95 masks, but it still confers more protection from droplets than nothing at all. Um, and certainly more protection than just a tiny piece of fabric. Uh, so what was I thinking? Um, there's this song in my head. <laughs> it's been here all day in my head and I haven't heard in, in so much time, but it's still in my head and it's not letting me think. But, you know, sometimes it happens to people. We have the, uh, uh, a song we can't stop uh, humming throughout the day. Um, uh, who was it by? I think it was Crowded House. Yeah, Crowded House. There is freedom within. There is freedom without. Try to catch the illusion in the paper cup. Oh, it's such a great song. There's a battle ahead. <laughs> oh gosh, that's just it's so much nostalgia. Many battles are lost, but you never see the end of the road. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really out of tune now. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come. Okay, I can't sing. I can't sing now. <laughs> Well, I'm not monetized anyway, but, you know, just, uh, oh gosh, the world is so weird right now. And the, the, the thing is, I've, I've always been kind of a prepper, but because I don't have a lot of money, I can prep properly. Uh, but my prepping actually helped my family through bad things. They only say, oh, you buy so much things you never end up eating and stuff like that. No, I have storage in case something bad happens and we need it. People always say I'm crazy, but even now... They still don't think that I'm right, and the thing is, uh, uh, I don't know, people always call preppers crazy, and even in this situation, they don't understand how essential it is to prep. Um, uh, it was curious because I I usually told my dad, you know, you should keep uh, a few animals, some cows, um, you know, a few chickens. You know, it's you have land. He has land too. So he also has all his friends around who can help him so he wouldn't have a lot of work. So why not have... Um, a few animals uh, and uh, you know cultivate a, a few cabbages potatoes like we did it in the past he could do it now I don't understand people seriously and then we have the last hour preppers that don't know how to prepper because they they never prepped a single day in their lives and now they're I don't know 
and at the end of this crisis, they'll still not value our actions, our, you know, prepping. They still think we're crazy. And it's really sad that they come for help now. But as soon as this crisis is over, they will forget the advice we gave them. And like, I always gave advice to my family. And my dad always said I was crazy. My mom still thinks I'm crazy. But my dad, uh, my brother told the same thing to my dad now, even though before he thought I was crazy. And while my dad said he was wise and all that, while ignoring that I've been telling these things for years. Uh, and my brother said, the, the thing that really got, got to me the most was when I my mom said that I was cultivating the land. Now I'm taking off the cheese on both sides and leaving the chicken for the cat. Yeah, she already knows. Uh, so here's the cheese. Okay, and now I peel off this and give to Athena. Calma, calma, Athena, calma, Linda. So here, I already mixed in the croutons and the cheese, and the kitty is having at it with the chicken. Uh, so. I'm going to wash one of my bell peppers. I don't know which one. I'm going to pick first. Uh, let's see, the green one, the yellow one, or uh, I think I'm going with the red one. So, I don't know. People just don't think. And the thing is, even with my brother's advice, at first he, he, it looked like my dad was going to follow it, and he's not, but it doesn't matter. So you can see how beautiful, gorgeous this is. This is a gorgeous one. All, all three of them are gorgeous. Uh, and the green ones. I typically prefer them green uh, because um, I get acid reflux from the red ones and uh, or the, pe the little ones. I actually eat them. They don't give me off acid reflux. So now I have this container with water. I'm washing this bell pepper and a couple tomatoes and I'm not eating the entire bell pepper because it's too much but I'm uh, these tomatoes look lighter than they are uh, but they're uh, ripe uh, so the thing you do when you take eat buy these things is make sure you buy fruits that are not uh, hybrids, uh, try to buy organic when you want to harvest the seed because typically they use heirloom seeds. Uh, I also try to get seeds myself, but uh, seeds now are uh, selling out everywhere. Come on, I need something not to... Um, and the ones I have are mostly not, uh, ew, nice color. So I'm taking a few slices of it and then cutting them up in pieces. Ew, such a gorgeous color. So, oh, such a smell. This one smells, oh gosh. I haven't smelled a pepper that smelled this good since uh, I grew my own in the past. 
Oh, this has tiny things inside. Hang on. What's this? Oh, weird. It's like a tiny formation. It has a, oh, never grown these, this quality before. It's a curious quality of peppers. It's not the quality of peppers I usually get. Whoa, this is something different. Has such a nice pungent smell. Uh, but yeah, we used to grow them. And uh, not this quality of peppers, but... Uh, oh, there, there's some growth inside. You know, that tiny bit. It's like a pepper, pepper grown inside of a pepper. So then what you do is you want to harvest your seeds and label them. Because these are three different qualities of peppers. Uh, that's why I got the three pack. Because usually the supermarket only sells this quality here. Uh, in both red and green. And I wanted all qualities. And because everyone is starting to prep now, it's harder for the rest of us to get seeds. And most of my seeds are not working because since we haven't had a tractor and I was uh, at school, I was at work, stuff like that, I didn't have time to prepare the land to be cultivated and uh, so we didn't cultivate it. Um, yeah, really, hiring a tractor is really expensive. Like the last time it was 300 or 400 euros. Uh, it's, it's really expensive. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, and I'm sorry I'm all over the place in this video. I'm preparing my salad. Uh, uh, I don't know. I hope you all your families are doing well. I know it's really bad because, uh, you know, synagogues are closed. You can't pray uh, in the minion. Traveling is a no-no. Truly weird world we're in. You know, when you always have the feeling that there's there the the doomsday, the there's something bad approaching. And in the late years, that feeling, that uncanniness, that, that sensation that something bad was to come, you know, was present in the atmosphere. And now that it's happening, it's such a surreal feel feeling. And it's like you feel that it's not still here. And it's, it's weird. It's just... I don't know. And you can notice my hair is a little shorter. I actually recorded a video about it. I haven't published it yet, but uh, uh, yeah, I cut my own hair. I've been doing so since I was 15 years old. The first time I did it was actually when I was 11 or 12. My mom freaked out, but yeah. Um... I, the reason I didn't post that video yet is because I may cut it a little more. And so uh, I'm torn whether I should publish it or not. Also, it was filmed before Shabbat and I didn't have a chance to edit it because I don't edit videos typically, but because I'm, I cut my hair strand by strand and then I adjusted it to shorten it a little more. Uh... I, that video needs editing. Uh, so yeah. One thing I do recommend everyone to do is boycotting China in any way you can. I always wanted to boycott China, but this is far, you know, more serious. You have the Uyghurs 
and you can bet they're going to use this to attack the Uyghurs. I'm adding the tomatoes now, and it looks not, nothing like the original salad, but that's the thing. You don't have to eat the salad like it comes, and I like it with more veggies, and the cat likes the meat, so I'm happy. So going back to call out all the parasites that are accusing Jews of causing coronavirus and all those anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, quit it. Jews are not behind it. The Chinese Communist Party is. And the virus, virus is real and it's killing people. And it's not a good moment to be inventing conspiracy theories that put people in danger. So every video I see of pe people saying coronavirus isn't real, I report them. And uh, I don't know. I don't report them. I, I report the content as unsafe. Um, to at least try to get it, uh, you know, behind 18 plus, uh, you know, those videos that don't get monetized. Because if they don't get monetized, people don't have an incentive to make as much conspiracy theories that endanger lives. Because it's one thing to investigate the origins, other things is telling people not to wear masks, to ignore precaution measures. Because seriously, even if you were right, and this is all a great conspiracy to whatever end, wouldn't you rather use a mask and make sure that you're safe then risk being wrong and get killed by the virus. I don't understand these people. They are, I don't know, they like to be, you know, to be raging against the machine uh, just for whatever reason. They can't, I don't know, it's, it's like everyone is against them. Uh uh, so yeah, it's uh, hey, this looks really good with the red of the bell peppers and the tomatoes and uh, I don't even think I'm going to add the sauce because the tomatoes look at this so gorgeous. Um, so it has the croutons, it has the parmesan cheese. Uh, oh, I was really craving some uh, uh, bread because I haven't had bread in over a week. Um, so I think that's that it for this virus. This for this video. I don't. I don't think I'm going to do mukbangs because I really get triggered with the sound of chewing so I'm not going to put my uh, viewers through the sounds of me chewing my food. I think it's really gross to hear people chewing. Uh, so that, and that's about it today uh, and now I have Keen somewhere only we know music in my head. What happened to them? They were so great. Uh, at least the first album I have it somewhere. It was like the the, the my favorite song was something like. Um, it was somewhere only we know and the last time. The last time you follow me 
for everything you want. The one last time. It's such a great music. And then there's the Somewhere Only We Know. That's the classic one. I walked across an empty land. I knew the pathway like the back of my... Damn it. Oh gosh. It's been like, I don't know, over 10 years? I was in university and I still... Whoa. <laughs> It's like the, those songs that never go away from your head. It's really weird and creepy. Uh, I don't know. I'm still keeping kosher as much as I can. Considering uh, I do eat cheese and I should try to find kosher she cheeses. The thing is, cheeses that are kosher in the United States, for instance, like Philadelphia don't have a kosher certificate here um but yeah i i do the best i can to not eat meat um although with my family the reason i went back to eating chicken is because my, because of my family mainly uh um so my uh, father is really angry that I don't eat pork at all. Um, and uh, when I'm with him, I still eat uh, like uh, he orders beef and I eat beef even though I typically don't. But... Uh, it, it's okay. I'm not Jewish yet. I don't have to keep kosher. Um, but it really upsets me that they don't respect my religious views. Um, but when I'm at my dad's, I typically ask for salmon. And uh, most times I eat fish. Which is uh, what I do when I'm living on my own. Uh, but yeah, mostly I eat uh, tuna and salmon or sardines, um, or a mostly vegetarian diet, kind of. Uh, so yeah, that's my uh, little salad with a little bit of everything, and uh, let me tell you what it tastes like, and I hope you don't hear chewing ch chewing sounds so i want to tell you hang on let me get a little bit of pepper where is the pepper i want to tell you what it tastes like before i sign off okay itadakimasu It's nothing like the original one, but it's even better. Like the tomato com combined with the parmesan and the croutons and the pepper make it so much better. So I'm going to eat it because I hate chewing sounds and talking while I'm eating, while I'm chewing, which is what most mukbang mukbangs are. And it's really unhealthy. To be honest, oh, that really grinds my gears. Watching all those mukbangs with people eating obnoxious amounts of food while everyone else is trying to survive. Like, this is something I eat in two times, and it's a salad. I was actually supposed to eat this in one sitting because it's not that many calories. And, uh... Hang on, the original serving is, let me see, two hundred calories without the sauce and a little more, about three hundred calories with the sauce. Um, 
But if we add the tomatoes, I don't know how much it will be. Uh, tomatoes and a little bit of pepper. I actually, I, I'm wrong. This is the, the amount of pepper I used. I didn't use a whole lot of it because I put the tomatoes and the, tom the pepper is mostly for flavoring. Uh, yeah, it really annoys me the people that now are on YouTube still doing those massive hauls of things no one needs, like makeup, like, um, and eating obnoxious amounts of food. I always get irritated by it because it's a fetish for the most part. And it feeds into unhealthy food habits. Most of those mukbangs are, hang on, I need to eat, drink some water. Uh, are only unhealthy foods in copious amounts that no healthy human being needs to eat. We want to promote health. And that's promoting obesity, heart attacks, I, I don't know what. Just look at Nikocado Avocado and how fat he's gotten and has do most of those mukbangers. Actually, Stephanie Sue is a cutie and I love her Miss Mango Butt channel, but I avoid her mukbangs because that's not healthy. That's not healthy. You don't need copious amounts of food, especially in a time where there are shortages Looking at people eat that much food that some of them are just going to purge out. How, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to keep that much food in me without purging. That's what I assume they do. Um, I don't know. It's really... If I see videos of people eating that much food, I, tum I usually turn down. Uh, that's feeding into bad, bad uh, eating habits. It's feeding into mental disorders. It's feeding into eating disorders. It's it's overall not good, especially at a time where people are struggling to make met ends meet, and their cats are back to fighting. I think. Oh no, it's an owl. We have an owl here that comes here every night, even in the winter. Um, and I'm sorry, this is a longer video than usual. Actually, you saw me cooking. Well, it's not cooking, it's making a salad. But I got this for Passover, not for Passover, for Shabbat. And I ate the other one without even adding the tomatoes. I just ate the lettuce and the croutons and the cheese. And it was good like that, but this one is better. I haven't eaten anything the entire day because I hadn't cooked cooked for Shabbat. And I wasn't hungry, to be honest. Uh, so I think that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Sorry for rambling so much. I'm not used to making YouTube videos again. I did order the microphone, so I know this must have some noise from the, you know, the computer. But I'm hoping that the tiny mic will solve the problem because I, I don't have money to buy a big one. Uh, the, I don't know, so that's it for today, and I hope you liked this video, uh, tell me what you think about the whole thing, and if you are one of those conspiracy theorists blaming Jews for coronavirus, F you, 
F you and I really hope the authorities crack down on you because this is not good. This is not good. And if you are one of those truthers who say coronavirus isn't real and 5G is damaging people, go get help, really, seriously. You need to be institutional, institutionalized because, seriously, viruses are not caused by wireless technology. Viruses are caused by... Well, I didn't want to say that. I didn't know. I, COVID-19, coronavirus, is a biologic thing. It's something that, uh, this one has RNA. It's something that is semi-alive. So, stop having conspiracy theories. Electric waves, radio waves, whatever they are, they do not cause coronavirus. Coronavirus is something that is originated in animals. However, this particular case was bioengineered by using some strand from animals and making it into a super virus that they leaked off a lab in China. Whether intentional or not, we cannot determine, but it can be determined that it is not uh, something, you know, I don't know. Uh, people, Some people say it's not bioengineered, but it has all the traits of it. It's a super virus. Whether bioengineered or not, it's a super virus, and you shouldn't be telling people to disobey the recommendations that may keep them alive. Anyway, I'm done with this video. May Hashem bless everyone, and uh, Shalom. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should start saying something in Portuguese at the end of the videos, or French. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, see you in the next video. May God bless you all and stay safe.